So it looks like Elizabeth Warren did an interview with NPR in which she has uh, tripled down, doubled down, I don't know what it is at this point, uh, to her terrible plan for reaching Medicare for all. Now, uh, in this interview, uh, this question says, uh, Bloomberg reporter followed you around in December in Iowa and wrote the following quote, During a three-day bus tour through Iowa, she increasingly stressed the word choice in her interactions with voters. Now, that is a popular word, Senator, and it sounds like you would have choice still for a while in this transition period, but is that a misleading word to use if your plan eventually takes away the choice for private insurance? And then Warren says, So my plan here is to give people the choice. I've shown how we can pay for health care, full health care coverage for everyone in this country without raising taxes on middle class families by one thin dime. And what I propose is that in the first hundred days, we pass a plan to make that health care available to everyone who wants it. We could make it available at no cost to about 135 million Americans, everyone under the age of 18. And so the interview says a public option is what that is. And then she says, well, it is a fully paid for option for people who want to try it and at a low cost for anyone else because I've already figured out how to pay for full health care coverage. And then when people have a chance to try it, when they see what health care is like when it's just between them and their doctor or their mental health professional or their nurse practitioner or a physical therapist without some insurance company in the middle making their profits by saying no, 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 then we have a vote. What I want to do is build allies. I want people to give it a try. I've shown how we can pay for it. Let's let people try it, and then we'll vote for, on Medicare for All. I believe we'll get there. So the reason why Elizabeth Warren's plan is so much worse is because here's the fundamental difference. Bernie Sanders passes one bill. Elizabeth Warren passes two, maybe even more than two. So the idea of being able to get through more than one bill through Congress is complete insanity. It's impossible to do. It's going to be hard enough and such a struggle just to get one health care bill through. Imagine trying to do it twice. Also, it will be just as difficult in terms of Republican votes to get a public option as it will Medicare for All because no Republicans will vote for a public option the same as Medicare for All. Now, there are going to be some sellout Democrats who are beholden to corporations who are not going to support Medicare for All, and those are the Democrats that we're going to have to primary, but in terms of getting Republicans, a public option is not going to get them either. And again, the issue with this sort of a public option, you know, let's wait it out, these things take a lot of time to develop. Like, the system is not going to be perfect just at the snap of a finger. Same thing with Obamacare, you know? Like, in the beginning, the website was glitchy, it wasn't working, but then, you know, like, four five, six, seven years into it, it was like, oh, okay, it's actually working pretty well now. You know, everything's smooth and running. That's how long it takes, okay? So you're talking about precious time, and then there's elections going on. There's a lot of pressure. There's congressional elections happening every two years. One third of the Senate is turning over. The entire House is up for re-election. Uh, so, you know, there's essentially so much going on to pass two bills in a public option. Uh, because the the idea of like, oh, we pass this public option, then boom, everyone's going to love it. And it's going to be great. Not really, especially when you talk about a public option that's going to be mostly inhabited by poor folks, which is going to make the option worse as well. And also not getting rid of private insurance. ruin It doesn't like you can't fix health care without get, getting rid of private insurance because private insurance ruins everything. It, dis, it disorients the market. It distorts all the prices. Administrative costs are just crazy and through the roof. Makes it more difficult for doctors. Makes it more difficult for patients. So we have to get rid of that. We need to have a one sole uh, negotiator, which is the government. Okay, because that's the smoothest way to have healthcare run uh, is through a single payer system. So the idea of passing two bills is stupid. The idea of a public option and then rallying people over is stupid. Um, and Elizabeth Warren's plan is terrible. And also. It doesn't really seem like she's even for Medicare for all. It seems like she's lying and she's just for public option and she's just making it look like an aspiration so that basically once it fails, once she fails to get Medicare for all, she can be like, oh, I tried. It just didn't work. You know what I mean? So not a good look from Elizabeth Warren here.